Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw an arch bridge using AutoCAD. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the arch in 2D and then we're going to switch it to 3D. So first thing I'm going to enter into my line command L and then enter. I'm going to use ortho so I'm going to press F8 and I'm going to draw a line maybe let's do it five units okay and then I'm going to go up uh, maybe 15 units okay and you can change these measurements uh, but uh, I'm just doing what looks better on the screen and I'm going to go up here 15 units okay and then I'm going to draw a line here maybe we could do it another 15 units okay and uh, another line here from here to here and then from here 15 units okay I'm gonna use copy okay to copy this square that we just created I'm gonna hold it by this edge and I'm gonna put it here these two are gonna be the columns of my arch so I'm gonna go ahead and create a circle here see enter I'm gonna go for the midpoint if the midpoint object snap is not on you can enable it by clicking here okay right clicking and then make sure that you have the midpoint option selected and uh, so let me go back to my circle midpoint and I'm gonna make one circle to this endpoint and another one to this endpoint okay let's zoom out to see how it's looking uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just use the trim command well before we use the trim command I'm gonna use another line here and I'm gonna go up all the way here line command here go all the way up here then line command and I'm gonna go from the quadrant I'm gonna select quadrant here okay from this quadrant all the way here and again all the way here the next step is to remove those uh, extra lines so I'm gonna use stream enter select everything I'm gonna select this two this one this one I also gonna select let's see this oops so I got out of the trim command let me do it again Trim, enter. Okay, I want this away. This one too. This one. This one. Uh, let's see which one. This one can go. And this one. Can delete it. So I'm gonna get out of the command. Press, just select it. Okay, selecting this one. This one. Also this one. And finally this one. Now is a good time to create a layer for our um, pillar here or our first uh, arch so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click home and go into the layers option and I'm gonna click create new layer here I'm gonna call these lines okay I'm gonna change its color to red okay and I'm gonna press enter since we're already here I'm gonna also create another layer and I'm gonna call it uh, just uh, you know bridge okay and I'm just gonna close, uh, well, let's change it to color blue, press OK, and just close it. Now, the next step is to put this into that lines layer. So I'm gonna select everything, layers, and I'm gonna switch it to the lines, okay? Oops. Now, it's a good idea also uh, to join this line. So I'm gonna press join, okay? And I'm gonna select everything and press enter. So now this is a solid block. Next step here is I'm gonna zoom out because I want to copy paste this arch several times. I'm gonna use copy. Okay, I'm gonna select everything, enter, and I'm gonna copy from this endpoint and I'm gonna paste it right here. One, two, and three. Let's do it four times. You can do it more times, but I think four is sufficient for this example. Now that we have our arches copied and pasted, uh, the next step is to switch to 3D mode. If you haven't done so yet, just click on the wheel and select 3D modeling. And then we're gonna switch our perspective with the orbit command. So once I have it like this, in this perspective, uh, I'm gonna use the press pull command and I'm gonna press and hold the shift to press pull more than one object at the same time and save us some time. Press enter. And then we're gonna go up uh, a certain amount. Uh, I'm just gonna go up I'm just gonna use the sling effect, this slingshot effect, and I'm gonna just pull it 
to this height. The next thing I want to do is I want to move this into from the lines layer to the bridge layer since it's, there are no lines anymore, there is really a, the bridge. And uh, once this is done, I'm going to make my lines layer active and I'm going to draw, I'm going to rotate here, okay, and I want to draw a line here, oops, L enter, and I'm going to go about maybe, uh, let's do a five unit high, and uh, I do the same here, five unit high, and then I connect it here, and then I do another line that connects here, okay, and the next thing I want to do the same, but uh, for the upper part here, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna press L, enter. I'm gonna press line and just make it five. Okay. Same thing here in this edge, five, enter. And then I'm gonna connect this line here and this line here. Okay. So this is gonna be our um, edges of the bridge. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off that bridge layer because it's getting a little bit on the way and I'm gonna use the join command to join uh, these lines here and press enter so now they are one piece and I'm gonna do the same thing for the uh, lower and they are now one piece next I'm going to use the extrude command or actually the press pull command uh, to select this area and I'm gonna press pull it down here so I'm gonna put a minus uh, let's see a minus uh, minus two okay and I'm gonna do the same here this one is gonna be two okay and I'm gonna go ahead and turn back my bridge layer to see how things are looking the last thing I want to do is create a road on top of the bridge so for that, I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to create one more layer and I'm going to call it uh, road. road. And I'm going to change this color to something different. Let's make it orange. Okay. And now uh, I'm going to turn off the bridge layer. Okay. And I also uh, just want to go ahead, make sure I am in the new road layer. Okay. And I'm gonna rotate this, making a zoom. I wanna make a line now from this edge to the internal edge here, okay? And the same thing here, I'll enter from this one to this one, and then from this one to this one, and then from this one to this one. You have to make sure that you are doing the right edges, and that's why I created the lines in a new layer. So when I now turn off the lines la uh, layer, let's see my square, and I'm going to use the join command, same procedure that we did before, and I'm going to join all this, okay, and finally I'm going to use press pull one more time, select here, and I'm going to press pull it only one unit, okay, and that's it, I can go back and turn on my uh, bridge layer and my lines layer. Next, I'm going to use the 3D rotate command to rotate the bridge and put it you know, straight up. I'm going to use this Z axis. I'm going to type 90 degrees. Okay, so now our bridge is straight up. So our bridge is practically done. Uh, if I click from 2D wireframe to conceptual, you can see that we have a nice uh, perspective of it. And now the last thing I want to do is add some uh, textures to it. So you can see it, how it will look if we render it. Uh, so I'm gonna move from conceptual to realistic. And then I'm gonna go where it says uh, view. Okay. And I'm gonna select materials browser. So here I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna go here where it says type. And, uh, oops, oops. So here where it says Autodesk library. And I'm gonna go where it says, um, let's see, stone. And I'm gonna look for one that is appropriate. Uh, let's see which one will look good. I think I normally for this kind of bridges, I use this one. Uh, this seems good. So I'm gonna drag and drop this into my bridge sections. 
okay and let's choose a different one so uh, this one looks actually better so I'm gonna use the brown one okay brown one and brown one okay and I also use the top with the same texture so brown one here and brown one here okay and for the road I'm going to use a different material so I'm gonna go to concrete and here I'm gonna use maybe um, let's see exposed uh, this one looks okay exposed course okay and that's it I'm gonna close this so as you can see this is our bridge you know the, the finishing product uh, we can do we can go ahead and render it uh, to have a you know a more detailed rendition of it but this is it well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please don't forget to subscribe and support this channel uh, so i keep creating more videos also let me know what kind of videos you would like to see and thank you so much for watching see you next time